Now, according to the CDC, there may be a new endemic here in the U.S. We're talking about Chagas disease. Could be deadly. It's caused by an infected insect or so-called kissing bug. Seriously, the kissing bug. We want to bring in nurse practitioner Alice Benjamin to explain this. As I was looking this up a little bit, I started to squirm and itch. <laughs> what is the kissing yeah. bug? So the kissing bug, it's actually the tratamone bug. Um, and what it is, it is a bug that carries a parasite. So what happens is when you're bitten by a mosquito, the mosquito leaves poop behind. And, you know, obviously we scratch our mosquito bites, we rub our eyes and we touch our mouth. And the concern is that the parasite that the bug has left enters our body and can enter systemically and cause some real harm and dangers for our body, like heart problems, irregular heartbeats, heart failure, and some real damage to our digestive system. Okay, so what are the symptoms here? What should we be looking at? Right, and so the early symptoms can look like the flu, fever, fatigue, and body aches, and I know that worries everyone, but one of the most distinctive signs is swelling around the eye. We call that Ramona sign, and it's not like a sty, minor swelling. It's really a significant swelling around the eye, and so those early symptoms uh, will present, and that could be a sign, and th that's the acute phase of it, and that's when it's really important, Colleen, to make sure you see a provider and get treatment because... This bug, this parasite, has the ability to, you know, after the swelling and the fatigue and the symptoms go away, that parasite will spread through our blood system and it will nestle into very vital, important organs and cause chronic damage years down the road if we don't treat it early. Well, Nurse Ellis, you mentioned a sty, but how is that different than, let's say, pink eye or conjunctivitis? How do you tell the difference there? Right. So with pink eye and conjunctivitis, the white parts of your eye will be red. You'll have ooey gooey stuff coming out of your eye and it'll be tender to touch. One of the key features with this um, with uh, the swelling from this condition is that the, there is no pain. There's no pain. It's swollen. It's really like the upper and bottom lid completely swollen, non-tender, but it's coupled with fever, flu, and fatigue. So those would be some of the distinguishing factors. But when in doubt, you got to go to your health care provider and get it checked out. I'm not kidding. I'm out here like this right oh, now. <laughs> and Michael doesn't even want to sit next Ooh. to me. But So what is the treatment ultimately here? So in the acute phase, there is, there's an, um, anti-parasitic medications. There's two of them that we can give in the acute phase. Now, here's, here's the part that might worry people. When you have the acute phase, you need to take the anti-parasitic medication because that's when the parasite is uh, floating around in your blood. Unfortunately, after the symptoms go away uh, and if we do another blood test, we won't see the parasite. We'll see antibodies in your blood. But what that means is the parasite has nestled into your organs and we can no longer cure you. And at that point, we're left at managing symptoms and treatments. And that's why we're seeing the heart failure and heart conditions. I mean, really to the extent where people end up in heart failure and need heart transplants. So treatment is really important on the acute side of it. If we wait, if you dismiss it, it, don't do anything about it. It could leave uh, some permanent damage and harm. And then later we're left with just managing symptoms. So good advice there. Don't mess around. Get in to see somebody if you think you have it. Absolutely. All right. Nurse Alice, as always, thank you. Thank Michael. you for having